Ladies and gentlemen, my name is In the Game Kaya, and welcome to I I I I I I I. In this series, I will be going through ev 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 arc map, both story arcs and rails, collecting every explorer's note, collecting every artifact, and defeating every ball ev in my quest to become the ultimate arc survivor. Now, without further ado, let's get into the episode. The episode. Ev the episode. I the episode. This is gonna be interesting. All right, so after uh, much struggle trying to get this back up and running, is the server just, I flat out couldn't connect to it for a while for some reason. So I ended up having to completely rebuild the server to get a connected transfer to save over. And now we're finally ready to make our next episode of ITGK Survives. And I logged on to see this. Yeah. No, it's not that it hasn't loaded in yet. Um, it flat out doesn't exist. It's all gone, and I don't know what happened to it. All the stuff I built over at Green Ob, that's all gone too. I'm going to assume the trap I left in the Redwoods is gone. So, like, there was... just At least my tames are still here. And I'm still level 106, so, you know... <laughs> That's nice. But I'm going to have to rebuild the base now. <laughs> so I got a little bit of work ahead of me. Um, to be fair, I did realize as I was building it that I, if I was going to do it again, I would do it slightly differently. Well, now I'm going to have to do it again, so I guess I'll be doing it slightly differently. So yeah, at least I have my tames. I still have all my thylas and the thyla breeding line. All my rexes are still here. Um, I still have uh, cryopods left over. Thankfully, I have those. But no, I don't think these structures decayed. It's just like... They just disappeared. I have no idea. I thought maybe it was a superstructures glitch, but no, I don't think that was the case either. Um... So I don't know what's going on. I, My best guess is part of the reason I wasn't able to get in for a while is the server got corrupted somehow. So we have to do a few things. Also, um, I was originally going to go out and look for Carrier Pigeon. However, uh, yeah, I did do a little bit of cleanup. There were a couple things that didn't quite uh, get destroyed, including my cryo fridge, thankfully, which uh, had pteranodons in it. Um, and I brought those tech rexes over from Green Ob, so everything is here with me. Uh, you, this is us uh, dying to the broodmother here. Figures. It figures. And here, Carrier Pigeon was killed by an Argentavis. So yeah, Carrier Pigeon is dead. It's, uh... It's unfortunate. So we are without an Argentavis, and now we're without a base. So, <clears throat> what do we do? Well, first things first, I need a base of operations. I need to get metal going again. I need to get um, a smithy set up, some, some basic stuff. If I could get even a fabricator set up, that would be nice. And I need an Argentavis. So first things first, we need to grind out some stone foundations and uh, put those down. And we're going to, to start rebuilding here. And I think I'm going to build the base in a circular design instead of a square one this time. So what I'm going to try and do is build a ring. Uh, if I just make a triangle foundation, I can put its nose right on the terminal and build around it, and then I know how to build a, a circle now. I've, I've been working on that. I'm still not great at it, but I've been working on it. And so we're going to build a circle-style base instead of a square-style base, and uh, then rage over base expansion because it's expanding a circle is a lot harder than expanding a square is. That's just how it works. And now I'm thirsty. So we need to get some wood. And we need to get some stone. 
and some thatch. So let's... Uh. And um, I'm going to just kind of gloss over a lot of the harvesting stuff. Because uh, you guys have seen me do this already a couple of times. So I will bring you guys back when we're ready to start working on the base proper. Uh, it feels so weird to be using primitive tools again. <laughs> Not even metal tools, stone tools. I missed my chainsaw. All right. Now I just need to uh, work on slowly building out the base. So we need a refining forge, and for that we're going to need some hide. I don't need this pillar. I'll just get the resources back. All right. Rexes do not swim. That is for sure. Refining forges. Need fiber. Ugh. And get this going. We're going to need that charcoal again, because all that gunpowder that I made up is all gone as well. Oi. You know, we put over 100 hours into something and then you lose it all. It's just, it hurts. This will probably also move, so for the time being, I'm just going to pull resources into it and store them somewhere else. But I need to work on getting this all spread out. The next thing that we need is a crafting station. And then we can get started on making up these foundations. It's a pretty cool base design, honestly. It's got this kind of starburst looking shape to it. It's yeah, you must still be in the process of filling this out down here. Yep. I was gonna say it's uh, a little bit uneven. I'm pretty sure this is how you do it. I think I just haven't finished the second time around yet. As you can see here, um, I think I still need to go out just a little bit further to kind of round this off. And uh, this, this needs some work yet. But uh, harvesting resources is going to continue to be a little bit slow moving until I can get myself an Argentavis. So... to open the other way. Can I get can I get it to open the other way? Thank you. No. Okay. So if you're working with SS, this is something that you can do. It's just uh, minimum three. I usually go with five uh, gates. And then you leave this side open and set to manual. And this back side set to automatic. And then you uh, just lead the Argent into the trap. Fly through. Get out the back side. It'll shut behind you and lock the Argent into the trap. Then come around behind the Argent. Switch this to the remote tool, switch it to door mode, and then Bruh. Just, now it's open on this side. Okay. Anyways, let's look our look for an Argent for ourselves. It's an 85, 135, that'll take. 140, 80, 110. That 140. a female. Is that you? I think that's you. You're a female 140. So 
Come here. I just want to get you into the trap. Come on. Bring you around. Just keep hitting me. Yep, just keep hitting me. Bring you around to the back side. All right, let's do this. Give me one more nip. Come on. All right, let's go. Come here, you dumb bird. Follow me. Wow, that was quality. This isn't working the way it was supposed to. All right, got the bird. Uh, the trap needs a little bit of refinement. For one, I put it in a terrible spot. Which is just me, you know, making a mistake. But uh, the whole door thing works a little bit better if you uh, can run around the side of the trap freely. And I can't do that here because the cliff face is so tight. So I, I'm going to have to switch it to automatic timing method and have it set to auto close behind me. I'll go for that. I'll get this thing knocked out. Come on, there we go. And before I do the boss fight again, I am going to need better saddles. Plus I should probably get uh, make Ethereum if I'm going to keep doing the Broodmother. Uh, Rexes are good, but I could really do with something that's more specifically designed for the Broodmother, kind of the way Mega Ethereums are. So now we've got our prime meat. Out of curiosity, what level are you? Male 120. Well, I would have a breeding pair then, so that's probably not a bad idea. Well, let's get this trap shifted over to a more automatic style. All right, so as soon as she wakes up, we'll have a saddle for her. It looks like she's gonna tame out as a level 209. Pretty good. Let's see what your stats are. Hmm. I don't. Nothing really stands out. Looks like she has pretty good health, but other than that, like, I'm not sure exactly. That's okay. We'll we'll breed them, and um, right now I just need something that can fly. She has plenty of stamina. So I'll put some weight levels into her. I'd prefer to get uh, this one and a male, 
and then breed the two together and have an imprinted argent that I can take with me and leave unimprinted ones at the base all the time so that I don't have to come out and do this again. That's a mistake that I told myself I wasn't going to make and ended up making anyway because, you know, I'm dumb. But uh, basically uh, what I realized right about the time I made the Thylacolio taming episode is that uh, a really good way to make sure that when you go out and you, and you die you, and you're losing losing stuff that you're not getting hurt significantly by these deaths is to make sure that uh, you have stuff back at the base that you could easily replace what you lose. Uh, so you don't want to use something that's super rare or super difficult to uh, replace unless it's absolutely necessary. Like your first Pteranodon. That's the kind of thing that you're more than likely going to have to just use it for a while. Maybe until you get an Argent, at least in PvE. Uh, you'll probably be using it until you get an Argent. But um, once you have an Argent, you're going to want to make sure that you have multiple Argents, because you don't want to be groundbound again. And it's a good thing I had Pteranodons on backup, because after Carrier Pigeon died, like I was out of Argentavis, and I have... No Tapaharas, no Quetzals, no Griffins, no Phoenixes. I can you ride Phoenixes. I don't know if you can ride Phoenixes or not. I've never tamed one. But anyways. Um, yeah, you just don't want to end up having to do this again. So, let's see. we got five minutes left in the spoil timer. You are 90% tamed. So, what? One more piece? Two more? You're probably alright. It might eat one piece of, of regular meat, but you'll be alright. Just keep tanking the hits. Just keep going. Alright. As long as the otter doesn't die. Well, that's different. I don't know why those shots weren't counting. Okay. All right, and he's up. Perfect. So, I don't know what we're going to name him right now. I can't really see the colors that well in the middle of the night. So, we're just going to cry out this guy, take him home, make an egg immediately. Might as well take this stuff. I need to make a campfire so I can start cooking some meat. Let's go home, and then we can figure out where exactly we're at with the base. Um, another thing that we're going to need is Uteranus. Um, once we get that done, like getting another Rex army bred up will be no trouble whatsoever. So that's not even a problem. And then we will be able to, you know, try the boss again. Oh, I lost all my element! Oh, well, I have the tech grams. Anyway, uh, I need megatheriums, dude. I just need megatheriums. And I need... There are, there are places you can get the uh, blueprints for saddles and stuff on the island. But most of them are in caves. Uh, the, one, the one that I know of and that I usually run just because it's easy is the one in Carnal Island. 
Uh, there's a red drop that you can usually find in that cave pretty easily. It's not that far in. You just need to get past a few bats. And the best way to get it is to go in there with a cryode rex. <laughs> so I might uh, check that drop a few times and just, you know, run it and see what I can get in terms of blueprints from there. But, um, yeah, other than that, like most of the other caves, some of these I haven't run at all before. Um, so it's going to be different for sure. And I was going to say we need another Baryonyx. I'm not 100% sure that we do, actually. Um, there is one cave we will need it for. Because you go uh, swimming and on land through different parts of it. So I'm either going to need to have two creatures, like a pocket shark or something like that. And then something to ride on the ground and swap back and forth between them. Or a, just one high-level Baryonyx would be fine. So yeah, there's a lot of uh, things that we need to do, but I'm not quite ready to face the beta yet, as I, uh, if you watched <laughs> that last uh, video, just the smacking that I got, just utter humiliation. Uh, yeah. Hey, I've never done it before, so I thought I was ready, I completely stomped the beta, and if that's, or I'm sorry, I stomped the gamma, if that's what the beta is like, I'm scared of the alpha, I'm legitimately terrified of what the alpha is going to be like. Uh, I should tame a Deodon, too, actually. That would probably help. And I think I'm going to add one more mod to this pack, just for uh, convenience's sake. Uh, now that I've seen what it's like without it. But that won't be in this episode. So I'll show you guys... Uh, so I won't have the resources to craft what I need for that mod anyway. It's a pretty simple mod. But... I will uh, go ahead and get it set up uh, before I record the next episode. We'll get the materials, we'll make ourselves one, and then I'll kind of show how you can use it. But we have Argentavis now. I really need some air cons. All right. Make an egg now. All right, give me the egg. Throw that in there, and we'll save that for a bit until we can grab that, throw that in there, and just keep making some more eggs. And now let's start working on this circle again. This is not working. I've done this before. I don't know what I'm missing. There we go. I knew I was doing something wrong because it kept coming out looking weird. So, yeah. Uh, regular foundations come out from triangles, and triangles come out from regular. It just alternates. That seems to be the pattern. Very, very simple, very basic. Like I said, I just screwed it up. Okay, so quick progress check. As you can see, the math is indeed working out. As you go out in layers, you alternate the, uh, what... Like, you build triangles off of regular foundation pieces and regular foundations off of triangle pieces. So, it slowly gets less and less round, but it is working. And as you can see, I'm working on the, technically the last piece for this, uh, just the ring. Which will be a, a great spot to put up some walls and some ceilings and stuff. Um, I do eventually want to put a secondary level on, and the second level will have storage, and then the roof, and the roof will have the crops the same way that we had before. I think I might use the um, spiral staircases, actually. I can spiral off of the middle to the second floor, and it'll be, for the most part, open, so that really shouldn't be a problem. I'm not going to get caught in a corner somewhere. Uh, but that, yeah, that, that could be really cool. 
You know what? Let's just go spiral in like this to here. And we can just have it always spiral the same way all the way around. Yeah, that'll look, look pretty decent. I'm definitely going to need more fiber uh, and thatch if I'm going to be... Because the Baryonyx gets plenty of wood, but I don't get a lot of thatch. Um, I could take the Dodic, actually, and go and get thatch. So let's get this... Uh, we've got some stone foundations here. So I'm going to put these up. I don't have a shotgun, so if I get chased off by beavers, this is going to be very interesting. I don't see any. Cementing paste, thank you. Dump the wood, and go. Alright, gotta be quick. Now we're back home. Let me show you what I got. Just a little bit of cementing paste right there. Some crystal, some hide, electronics, oil, scrap metal, some silica pearls. Yeah, uh, things went pretty good. Um, so I'm going to throw this in here and we are going to make ourselves a fabricator right there I could just give myself all the stuff that I lost but I feel like that's kind of cheating so I'm not gonna do that because I had like an industrial forge and you know all that stuff and we have power okay I don't have any um polymer yet. All right. Well, it's not much, but I think you can see what I'm going for here. I'm going to need to get some crops uh, going in order to get my uh, gates up that I want, because I was going to use dynamic gates to put the gates up over there and over there. But that's going to require crops. It requires... Uh, one of each crop, I believe. And to my knowledge, there is no... Now, I might be wrong about this, but there's no map that allows you to just go and harvest crops. I know you can get carrots on um, Ragnarok. But other than that, I don't know if you can get other crops elsewhere. I might be wrong about that. If I am and you know uh, where I can get them, leave that in the uh, comment section. But I think that's going to be it for today. We got quite a bit of progress done in getting our base back. Um, so this is just kind of temporary for now. All my storage and crafting area will be in here. I'm not 100% sure where I'm going to put the forge yet. So that will be an interesting thing when I get around to it. <clears throat> so uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please be sure to hit the like button. It does help the channel out a lot because uh, the more that you like it, the more that uh, YouTube will recommend it to other people. And uh, As a pretty small channel, I can use all the help I could get right now. But yeah, uh, that's going to do it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. We are on our way to getting our base back. And I still have to redeem myself against the Beta Broodmother, which means we're going to need Megatheriums, we're going to need Saddles, I'm going to need... Uh, you know, tech rexes, and I'm going to need my Uteranus back, and I should probably tame a Deodon. i got a lot of stuff I need to do, and uh, looking forward to getting it done. 
And uh, this base is going to turn out pretty cool. You just watch. So thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe so you can keep up to date with any new videos that I put out. And I am working on some tutorials now as well. So if you need help with ARC, I will be getting on to that shortly. And uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought and how I can improve. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good day. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.